it's gone. When it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Hello, beautiful besties, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much, and welcome back, besties. Today, you guys, we are talking about my empties. Yes, it. I don't know how long it took. For some of these, it didn't take long, but I have one, two, three, four. I've got some fragrance empties to share with you, as well as some skincare. I'm also going to be saying what I repurchased these empties, or was it just a one and done? If you wanna hear that and more, please continue to watch. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. All things fancy and fabulous dwelling. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into or that you want to be a part of, stop what you're doing. Drop me your scent of the day because you know, I like to know what you're rocking. Also, if this seems like your vibe and your shush, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button, but don't stop there. If you want to be notified when videos are posted on the channel, go ahead and click the notification bell. Uh -huh, yeah, that one right there. And if you truly want to become a bestie, come over, slide in the DM, and say hi on Instagram. Without further ado, we are jumping into this video right now. Hey besties, you guys! Oh my gosh, okay, so seriously, we're not gonna spend a lot of time, you guys. I want this to be quick and easy and so much fun, okay? So of course I like to play games when I do fragrance videos or any kind of videos, that's just who I am. So we're gonna start with the fragrances. I believe I have like five or six, I don't know. All I'm gonna tell you is if I would repurchase it again or if it was a one and done. You ready? Okay, let's go. Kayali Eden Juicy Apple 01. Go ahead, put it in the comment section. Do you think I would repurchase this again, yes or no? Of course I would. If you said yes, you'd be correct. This bottle is completely empty. I already have a backup bottle and I already have a backup to its backup bottle. So yes, I would repurchase this again. I love it. The reason why I love this is because it's fun, it's upbeat, it's flirty, it's sexy, and it's an easy reach, and I wear it year round. I move on. This the next one is, it was my gym scent. It was Tiffany and Co, and it's love, and it's her. I love this fragrance, I used it, I wore it every single day to the gym, hence why it is gone, cause she's been on her gym grind. Hello, would I repurchase this again? I would, but I'm not. Girl, <gasps> Everybody, why? Because I've been rocking this to the gym and it's doing the same type of thing for me. It's citrus, it's bergamot, it's fresh, it's clean, it's not in your face, it's not off-putting. I absolutely love it, I reach for it all the time. This was gifted to me by Vanique Gabay in PR, so I love it. So I don't really have to buy this again, but if I run out of this or if I'm just feeling the need for this for you know memory purposes, I would repurchase it again. It is that good. If you need a fresh, clean, easy reach every day. Didn't we say we weren't gonna do all this? You know how I am. If you don't, this is how I am. But yes, I would repurchase it. It is really good, but for now, I'll be rocking this one. I move on. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm about to say this. Gosh, girl, you just gave it away. This right here was Chanel Eau Fresh, and this was the green one. In case you're like me, I call them by the colors. Green, pink, darker pink, lighter pink, but this was a green one. And recently, they came out with a new Eau Fresh. I believe it's a Eau de Parfum. Ah, I smelled it when I was in Vegas. I don't know if it was its true season, I didn't love it. It was a bit too much for me. It kind of felt overbearing, overpowering, and that's a lot for me, and not in a good way. I just didn't like it enough to buy it, and when I finished this one, I'm done with it. This was a point in time in my life, and I'm no longer there, nor do I care to be there again. You know what I mean? It's just, it's done. You know how you meet those people in life? That's what this fragrance is like. It's like you were there for a season and a reason and we're done and I'm okay moving on and I don't need to look back. If you got that, hit the like button. That's what this fragrance is for me. So would I repurchase this again? Absolutely not. Did I smell the new one and might wanna try that one? Absolutely not. I move on. Oh my God, I'm having so much fun. Okay, this next one. I'm on my third bottle. Third bottle, hello, done. Where's the dent, gone. This right here was num number one De Chanel La Rouge. It came out, you guys, I got it, I sprayed it, I fell in love with it. It's a very happy, upbeat fragrance mist. This is not a perfume, this is not an ED, any of that. This is just a fragrance mist. I love it, I love it for the way that it makes me feel. Very clean, very fresh, very put together, it's a one and done, it's an easy reach. However, the reason why I keep going through them so fast, because 
after I get out of the shower, this is the first thing I'm reaching for other than my body oils and creams and everything like that. But I always start with this as a fragrance base and then I layer everything else on top. So this is really good. I don't know why I'm, it's gone. When it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. It's a wrap for you, baby. I'm gonna let that go. But anyways, it's a wrap. It's gone. Would I repurchase this again? Of course. I'm already on my second one and I have a backup to the backup. All right, I move on. Minnie Mouse. Oh my God, I love this fragrance, you guys. I slept in it every night. Oh my God, it, girl, it's gone. It's gone. This was gifted to me by House of Siage, the brand, and I absolutely love it. It's gone. House of Siage, it's gone. And did you guys, are you guys following me on uh, Instagram or the community page? This went on sale. I think 40, 50, 30 something percentage off, right? And I tried to let you guys know. And then a few of you jumped in the DM and was like, I got it, I got it. And then the rest of you were like, oh my God, it's gone. Bummer, it's gone. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for it because if they don't send me another one, I'm gonna have to buy it. I'm gonna have to go ahead and get it because I do love this. This is really good. It's raspberry, it's fruity, it's sexy, it's sensual, it's comforting. I've got so many memories with this. I absolutely love it. I wear it to bed, I wear it out, I wear it under fragrances, over fragrances. It's an easy reach for me. So Minnie Mouse, would I buy it or would I want it in my collection again? Absolutely. Okay, I move on. The next one is this. Oh my God, you guys, it's gone, <laughs> Falaya. Would I buy it again? You already know the answer if you've been here. I already did. I already bought it. I already bought it again. Of course, you guys, Valaya is absolutely amazing. I love it. It is a fresh, clean, sophisticated, classy, year-round, opulent, elegant fragrance in a bottle. And I absolutely love it. I think this may have been the first fragrance that I have ever gone through so fast. I kid you not. I don't know if I've ever used any fragrance this fast. I couldn't put it down. It was like stuck to my hand. I reached for it every single time I got ready to go out and I'm not a signature scent kind of gal. I spray what I want, when I want. I spray as much of it as I want. Hence is probably why it's gone. Mm -hmm. That could be a good reason why. I'm gonna try and slow down on the next bottle, on the new bottle. I'm gonna try not to get through it as fast, but you guys, I love this fragrance. I know I talk about it a lot. But if you can see, the dent is beyond dented. It's gone, okay? I talk about what I love, and I love it. Okay, I gotta put it down, I move on. Sticking with fragrance, this is the Delina Body Cream. Would I buy it again? Absolutely, I already did. If you've been here, I shared that with you. When I say I used it, it's gone. There's nothing left. Oh, it still smells good though. Mmm, oh, that is really good. Oh my gosh, if you don't have this, and you were thinking about getting Delina, but you really didn't know, I would say start with the body cream. To me, it's just as fragrant as the fragrance, and it really projects, and it has longevity, and it just helps the fragrance to do even more than it already does, and it is a beast. This right here is good, good. Yes, I would repurchase it again. Absolutely, if you have not tried it, I would highly recommend 10 out of 10, get your hands, get your nose on it. I move on. Charlotte Tilbury, they have their Magic Night Cream Beauty Sleep Serum Elixir. I would purchase this again. If you watch my Nordstrom video, I already shared with you guys, I already picked up a backup. And then during the Nordstrom's anniversary sale, I picked up another backup, the whole trio set. This is really good with winter approaching and us needing something, if you have dry skin or just normal to dry skin or normal skin. I have normal but sensitive skin. I use this and I use it every winter and it is gone. It's very, very, very thick, okay? When I say nothing, nothing. The thing about it is I forgot that these were refillable so I didn't have to buy the whole thing all over again. I could have just bought the cartridge of the refill and saved some dollars but I forgot because this pops out and then you just pop the new one right in. So I don't know. I'm gonna probably hold on to it and get a backup and just get like the cart because they are refillable. Charlotte Tilbury has some amazing products whether it be skincare, makeup, you name it. I'm a Charlotte girl. I move on. Would you repurchase it again? Already did. Ola Hendrix. This is the Banana Bright Eye Cream. I put this under my eyes before I do my makeup. Right now, I'm using another one from Diana Madison, but this was really good. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I like the one from Diana Madison more than I like this one. The saffron in that one really plumps your eyes. I don't know how to say it, you guys. Hello? I don't know how to really give it to you, but I know it does something to my eyes. I don't have like, like bad, I mean, Girl, how are you trying to explain? I don't have like anything 
sunken under my eyes, but I can see the difference when I put it on, okay? Let's put it like that. I have a video on my channel, check it out. I did it the first time when I went to the Beyonce concert and I noticed how my makeup came out. I haven't looked back since. So would I buy this again? No, not because it's not good. Just because in my opinion, I found something that's doing a little bit something more that I like. So I still would highly recommend this, but I'm on to something else right now. Would I revisit it again? Absolutely. Anytime soon, not in the future. I move on. Okay, here it is, my Dior Lip Glow. Would I repurchase this again? I already did, three, four times plus. I absolutely love this. I did switch out, you guys. This was, I believe, cherry, and now I'm trying rosewood. Oh, and I really like this one. This is the color of it, so I already have it. I have about four or five of these, you guys, I do. I love them. I have tried so many lip glosses. I am a lip gloss girl, I kid you not. It's not something that I'm proud of, but it's not nothing that I'm ashamed of either. I love lip gloss, so I'm always down to try one out. Sunday Riley, Clarins, um, Fenty, you name it, I have it. This is my favorite, Fenty is the second. Or Fenty, no, they're about a tie. Fenty and Dior are about a tie. I will say it like that, because I have them both and I reach for them both equally. I move on. So would I buy it again? Yes, I already did. Fade, I'm sorry you guys, some of this stuff looks real bad. I Listen, these are empties, I use the product. This is Fade uh, by Topicals. Remember, I shared this with you guys before, I don't know if you remember or not. I shared this with you guys before. I had two scars on my hand, and that is why I don't like cooking. I don't know what I was making, but the grease popped up on my hands, or did I stick my hand in the oven and burn myself? Because, you know, I don't have the patience to be reaching for pot holders and all that kind of stuff. You know, I told you I'd rather make a reservation, but don't get it twisted, I can definitely cook in the kitchen. Trust me, but I'd rather make a reservation. But somehow I had two burns on my hand and I was sharing that with you guys and I was telling you, I was like, what can I get to get these to go away? And everybody was saying, I gotta give it to Durant because everybody was like, including Durant, get this, get this, this, the fade, the topicals. And I was like, it didn't even do anything. Like I had been using it and using it and using it because the first time the girl told me to just use it once a week and then you guys were like, no, you gotta use it like every day. So I started using it every night after my skincare routine. I would take it, I would put it here, put it here on the two burns on my hands. Where are they? Where are the burns? Gone, they faded, okay? They did just what the product said, they faded. I also have started to use it on my skin. When I get breakouts, I can't use it for my eczema because it irritates it, it makes it really red. So I can only use it like if you have a pimple, like after, you know, whatever, or what have you, and you get a pimple and it turns black, start putting just a dab of this on, you can spot use it or you can use it all over. I don't recommend using it all over, but do you, do you? I'm not here to tell you how to do anything. I'm just here to share with you what it did for me. We got that? Okay. So I put it on where I had pimples or what have you, and they fade gradually. But you know, nothing where it's um, disturbing the peace or it broke me out and I have very sensitive skin. So would I repurchase this again? That's the question, girl. Absolutely. I already have. I have two that I purchased. One in, oh, actually three now. I purchased one in Vegas, one's in my travel bag, and then I have one in my boudoir. So yes, tropical fade cream, it works. I will purchase it again. The next thing is this here. This is a, I don't even know how to say it. This is a lavender scent. Oh, I didn't know it was lavender. Okay. It's a silicone scrub matte inside as well as like, it had a bar, it looked like a bar of soap, you guys. Oh my God, this is so dirty. Ugh. But this is how it look inside. The soap was inside of there. If you can see it, it's gone. When it's gone, it's gone. It comes with this little rubber mat. I started using this because I was in a hotel and I needed to clean my makeup brushes. We went to Sephora. I picked it up. I went in. I used it. And I was like, oh my gosh, it really gets them really clean. My white goat hair brushes, synthetic br whatever brushes you have. I do the little dibbly dibbly dabbly do. Take it out. Let it air dry. And you guys, it's good as new. They come all the way back white to their original color and I really like that. Okay, that is it. Those are the products that I use, I loved, tried and true, the ones I would buy again, the ones that I might revisit again in the future. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my video. I truly appreciate you. If you like these empties videos, let me know. Give this video a big thumbs up. Remember this, give it a thumbs up. You guys, I don't know what is wrong with me today, okay? I, oh, I just figured it out. It's Friday, I haven't eaten and I had my second cup of coffee. So what I'm about to go do is put some clothes on, go downstairs and make myself an asahi bowl. I will see you beautiful besties in the next one. Oh, and I'm on my way to an event after I do that. What time is it? Oh, what time is it? Oh yeah, I gotta go. And I'm on my way to an event. I'm gonna share the event with you guys. If you're not following me on Instagram, you're gonna miss it. You're gonna miss it because I don't know if I feel like taking my camera. Oh, I'm done with the fragrance. This is just the back top. Do I have time? Yeah. I don't know if I'm taking my uh, my camera because it's, it, 
it, it, it's too much. I'll be trying to talk, I'll be trying to get it on my phone, get it on Instagram, and then I get lost in the sauce. So I'm just gonna do everything I think on my phone to make it easy because I wanna wear a cute small bag. So I think I'm gonna just vlog everything on my phone. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. And I definitely need to go eat something um, before I go. So I'm gonna have myself an Asahi bowl. If you guys um, like Asahi bowls, let me know. They are so good. I have like three places in my area that make the best Asahi bowls with fresh fruit. If the fruit isn't fresh, I don't even want it. All right, I'll talk to you besties in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, dwellings. Thanks for watching. Bye.